All right, Red and Whites, welcome back to another match preview. Clive and I are here to give you our thoughts ahead of the last away game of the season. Tottenham Hotspur, Clive, how are we feeling about this, mate? Well, first of all, it's nice not to be stood in a blizzard on the banks of the beautiful River Itchen, two and a half miles down to the ground, and you've got the beautiful St Mary's Stadium. So what do we think about Tottenham? Well, I think most Saints fans feel the same way. They're very, they're very bitter about things that have gone on in the past and they're desperate to beat them because we haven't even got a point against them have we since we come back no. so it, it's time it's time um, Tottenham will be feeling very very down with the, the other night they probably really should have wrapped that game up um, add the game in the bag to be honest so it's a good chance for Saints really good chance do you think they'll be hurting it? is it our chance to really stick that knife into Mopo no, I'm, I'm not worried, but you know what? I just want Saints to do well. I just want Saints to go out and perform because we've done it recently. We've been very consistent, uh, especially at home. You know, sometimes away we've we've scraped a few wins, and no, it's it's up to Saints, and and they've got so close to the finishing line now. Um, in the past, many many Saints teams would be on the beach now, and and yeah, not now though. It's professional and it's and it's decent. And it's classy, mm-hmm. and, and I really hope Saints can go and finish the job in these last two games. So what are you predicting for this one? Is it going to be a close call, 2-1, maybe a draw? I, I think it'll be a draw. I, I do think 1-1. I think 1-1. I think Tottenham, a very, very good team, a very fit team. Despite the amount of effort they put in the other night, they'll be up ready for Sunday. Mm-hmm. Saints, lovely footballing team. Maintain possession really, really well. Decent in forwards, going forwards with, the, with the, the new, really, forward line of the last few weeks, which has proved very, very effective. I love Pella. I love Pella. But clearly, you know, having more movement there has, has reaped dividends, hasn't it? It's paid homage to his uh, namesake, MLT. MLT. Mane, uh, oh, right. Long, okay. Tadic. Okay. I didn't and think Manitis. about it that way. I didn't think about it that way. But, uh, yeah, I suppose so. I suppose so. But, no, it, it, it worries Pace always worries the opposition. Mm-hmm. And if you've got a decent midfield that gets the ball in the areas quickly, then you're going to cause problems. But yeah, probably 1-1. I think it's going to be a very tough game for Saints. 1-1 and hopefully we can, we can finish the season off in style, you know, beating Palace. And uh, let's see where that puts us. Let's see where that puts us. So they'll be missing a few key players. Um, we, we're yet to find out the outcome of that eye gouge incident by Dembele wow. in Chelsea. And... Uh, yeah. You know, they should have had a man sent off against Chelsea, but they were there for the taking, surely. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, I don't blame Clattenburg for not seeing the eye gouge because you can't see everything when you're ref, but the, the, the decision on Dyer I find astonishing because he's been booked and then he completely scythes. I don't know which Chelsea, maybe it was Hazard, I don't know. Completely scythes a guy down in injury time. He's got to walk, he's got to walk, and there's another player gone. But it didn't happen. Clattenburg missed it yet again, has cost Saints um, the chance of facing a more weakened Tottenham team but I don't want to go on about that I want to think about what Saints can do positively yeah. and I think we can take the game to them match the, match their physical effort and hopefully the forwards can do the business again Well there you have it guys let us know your thoughts in the comments below let us know your score predictions and always don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel